34, determine the following to four significant figures. And then we have letter C. We need to find out the percent of SO42 minus, which is sulfate, in aluminum sulfate, which is Al2SO43. Okay. So in essence, we're trying to find out the percent of sulfate, right? Now, there's a formula for a percent, finding a percent composition of an of a element or a compound, uh, and it's this one. It's this formula. Whenever you're trying to find out some type of percent of either an element or a part of a compound, in this case, we're talking about multiple elements, we just have to find out that amount and divide it by the total amount. Remember, any, any percent is always a part divided by the whole and then multiplied by 100. So in this case, they're specifically asking us for the percent of the sulfate, right? The percent of the sulfate ion. So technically, this would be the amount of the sulfate divided by the total amount of Al2SO43. And then all I got to do is multiply it by 100. Well, now, where are the numbers coming from? Ah, we take percent compositions. If we have no other numbers, we take them from the periodic table. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little trick, but still we have to find out the total molar mass of this guy. So I'm going to start on the left-hand side. I have Al2 SO43. Now, since they're only asking us for the percent of sulfate, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Usually, and if you've been with us and on the playlist for the, this percent composition part, uh, I usually do the individual elements, right? I break it down to aluminum, sulfur, and oxygen. However, they're asking for sulfate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down my compound into aluminum, and then I'm going to group the sulfate together because they're asking for that. Now, do you have to do this? No, but it, I'm just showing you different ways to find a percent of something. So in this case, I have aluminum, right? And I have my SO4. Okay. Now, how many aluminums do we have? And how many sulfates do we have? Well, I have two aluminums, so I have two of those. But then how many sulfates do I have? This four is with the whole entire sulfate. But I see on the outside that there's a three. I have three sulfates. So I actually have three of these. Now, all we do is we take these numbers, the two aluminums that's in the um, compound and the three sulfates, and all we got to do is just multiply them by the molar masses of what it is. So that's where the periodic table comes in. Now your math, uh, well, you don't, you can round if you want. I'm going to write down the exact numbers that I see on my periodic table, but just make sure that they're very, very close. So on my periodic table, each aluminum is 26.998. And that's the unit of grams per mole. Now for the sulfate, we actually have to find out what S and O is in our little piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly find out what this molar mass is. So on the side, or maybe if I can just put it in here, right? I can just add it in here. How would I find out the molar mass of SO4? Well, there's one sulfur and four oxygen. One sulfur is 32.06 uh, on mine, so that's the sulfur, and I just add it to the four oxygens. So I have to do four times the oxygen, uh, which is 16.00. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and do you see how this is S- O4. And then there's three of them, right? Because that's the three up here. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is maybe I'll just get this answer, right? So in the calculator, I have 32.06 plus 4 times 16. So I get 96.06. So I'm just going to erase this. So pause the video if you need to write that down. But this is 96.06, and that's grams per mole. And maybe I'll just put like a, a note on the bottom here that this was for SO4. Now, I just have to multiply them out. So 2 times 26.98 is 53.96. 53.96, and that's grams per mole of the aluminum. And then I'm going to do 3 times 96.06. That's 288.18. And that's the grams per mole of the SO4. Now, I have to find the total amount, right? So I have to add these two numbers up. That's the total molar mass of aluminum sulfate, Al2SO43. So I'm going to just take the 288.18 and add it to the 53.96. So my total is 342.14. And that's grams per mole. And that's the total. OK. Now we're ready to do our percent. So in this case, they wanted us to find the percent of the sulfate ion. Now, does it really matter that we have a 2 minus here? Absolutely not, right? I just said SO4. But technically, I mean, you can do 2 minus. This has no weight of the molar mass. Remember, the molar mass is only protons and neutrons. This is just telling us that we gained two electrons. Electrons are so negligible in mass that they're basically not even counted. So that's why this doesn't really matter. So percent sulfate is the amount of sulfate. It's this number, the total number that we found of the sulfate, the 288.18. divided by the total mass, the 342.14. And then, just like every percent, you just multiply by 100. I don't put in any units when I'm doing the math because it gets a little hairy. So I try to just make sure that I have the right units, I know that I have the right units, and then I just plug in the numbers. So 288.18 divided by 342.14 times 100. And the total percent of the sulfate ion to four sig figs is 84.23. 84.23, and that's in the percent, and that's it. So sulfate relatively takes a huge chunk of the percentage of this compound. If we did want to find the aluminum, all you could do is just take 100, you know, 100 minus 84.23, because that's the only thing that's remaining. But in this case, they just wanted the percent of sulfate. And that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want. If not, that's fine. Still love you guys anyway. And I really hope that you guys do well on your tests and your quizzes and your homeworks. I believe in you guys. You guys got this. Chem is not hard. And I'll be here every step of the way. All right? So I will see you in the next lesson. Have a great day.